Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Resident Evil. We made progress. Did we? Because I don't remember a single thing. Um, a few things. Last time we played, we we used a, a key, and then the game was like, "Oh, this is the last time you can use this key. Do you want to get rid of it?" And we lost our shit because we thought that the game was saying that we had um that like we it was the key that we just got. Apparently, it was the key that we had for a while before that. We were just so tired that we didn't know what was happening. Our mistake. We're sorry. We sorry. We sorry. Um. You said that you wanted to try the Windcrest thing outside. Yeah, it probably won't work. I'm also gonna put the grenade launcher in here because we're not gonna just use that on normal zombies. Okay. There, there. I know there's like one enemy. I know for a fact it's super useful again, or two really. There was. Uh, did I say I wanted to try something? Was there something? You said you wanted to try lighting the fireplace. Oh right, yeah. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Ooh. Okay. Um. I think I got everything I'm gonna need. Cause I looked at all the other stuff in there. I really don't see how it's gonna help. Yeah. So we were just kind of out of it last night, cause we. We were, were tired and angry. We were just trying to get like as many things out of the recording as we could uh, in one sitting. To, to the point where we were just like, so we don't, Shoot. we usually only record like three episodes in a sitting, uh, but now since we're switching to the whole thing of uploading every day, which hopefully, I'm hoping that works out well, every weekday. Like, we're going to um, have to record a lot more, but I'm pretty sure it'll work out just fine. Yeah, I'm sure. And, um, yeah, that's just kind of what we we're going to be doing. Um, it was I also am... like five in the morning, when, and we were like just so tired. We were, we were. Also, is that a hook? Is that a hook? It looks like something. Yeah, it's something. Like a crack in the wall, maybe. Doesn't seem like I can pick it up, but oh well. Oh uh, well. Because it's like that's also the room with the two crimson heads, and I'm not. You don't want to accidentally go into that room. Because I I barely escaped it once. Um, but like. We um, we were just tired, and we were we we were delirious at the time, and yeah, that that's how that happened. Now we're going to try and make progress. Keyword in this being try. I'm trying to find my way back to the room. Like I'm just looking at the map over and over, trying to make sure I know where I'm going. Yeah. So, hey God. I gotta go. Uh, no, you should have gotten it out before we started recording. I'm sitting on two bowls of spaghetti. <laughs> so two bowls of spaghetti. I also, uh, I was watching one of the last uh, episodes that ca the episode that came out today, and I was watching it and I was like, I, I make this. I keep making this noise, and like it's the mo I don't even know if it picked up on the mic that time, but like, it's the most annoying thing. I don't know if anybody else thought it was annoying. If anyone else did, I'm so sorry. I didn't even realize I was doing it. But, like, we were just talking. I'd be like... Yeah, because it's like you also said that, like, you hate... Stop it. But, like, um, that you hate mouth noises from people. I do. Especially that, like, lip smack noise. Because we were watching, uh, what was it? Uh, Worst Cooks. And there was that one gay yeah. dude on there, and you were like, oh my gosh, I just hate the mouth noise that he's making. Yeah, because there was an episode where they were like, alright, uh, it was the one where they like have to talk to their chefs with like the headset, and they have to like direct the chef what they're making. And he was eating, and he just got, he like take a little, he'd take a little tiny bite, go, and he like take another bite. Oh uh, yeah, it is picking yeah, up. Yeah, it's picking up, and he, it was just, and I was like. If I was there, I would threaten to turn him into a souffle. If I was Chef Anne, his ass would be dead right now. Was <laughs> he on Anne's team? He was on Anne's team because Anne hated him. Uh, yeah, because like he always said that like he was scared to be uh to get Chef Anne mad. Yeah, and he called her like uh he called her like sweetie or something like that. And she did uh, not like that. He called her boo. Yeah, she did not. She like was that. pissed. Oh, that is a thing we can. Oh! I was looking at it in the recording, and I was like, wait, it said it's unlit. We have a lighter. We should try it. Holy shit. 
Lines carved into the relief glow red in the intense heat. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Okay, so what does what that does do? What does that mean? Lines carved into relief. Uh, is that a thing under that chair, or is that just books? Uh. I think that's just books. Hmm. Those are just books. What does that? What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that do for us? How is this gonna affect my day? Shut the fuck up. Uh, can we open the door that's here? Hang on. Because this isn't... Just looking at everything before I actually open the door. Yeah, that's fair. It's locked. Dang it! Uh, Helmet. Wait, which one, which do, we one have? do we have? Oh, we have the key. shield key. Okay. Um. What does that mean? <laughs> what does it mean? Okay, so we did that. Yeah. What um, do we do now? It's also another like weird voice habit that I have that I'm gonna try and get rid of. What it, is it? It's like every time I say a joke after at, at the end of it, I guess because I have breath in my lungs, I'm trying to get it. I'm like, what is it? Like I just did it. What does that mean? And I like <laughs> just puff all the air out of me. You've noticed it in the recordings. Yeah, like when I do the boogie, like that. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> I because the way I do that is I kind of just force the air inside of me to compress. And oh, wait, then my on. body's this like this room's right here. Hang on, I want to try something. And then my body's like, it all needs to come out now. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Our lives are over. <laughs> what are we gonna do now? Uh. Are you gonna, do? You, are you thinking that we can put the wooden mount on it? Because it has paper inside, and I'm thinking that like if we, if if I'm thinking of this properly, that like we press it against the thing. And it does something. Ah. But I could just be wrong. But I also don't see any other use for a wooden book that has paper inside. Yeah. Unless, like, there's invisible ink on the pages. Yeah. Well, uh, wasn't it, isn't it a thing of, like, heat can make invisible ink show? Is that a thing? I don't know. Listen, I only watched National Treasure once. Okay, lines carved in the roof. Go, go. You don't need to read it every time I accidentally press it. Uh, oh! It burst into flames. <laughs> 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 There's a map of the mansion's second floor. How does that help us? Uh, oh, there's a secret room. Yeah. Uh, that's why I did it. <laughs> 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 Had it all go according to plan. Oh, yeah. now you know. Okay, cool. Well, now it's gone, but like we have the information now. We do. We have the second floor map of the mansion. Okay, cool. Yay. Uh. Now we have the shield key. So now we can run around randomly looking for a door. Run around randomly. I'm gonna go outside and test out that door that you wanted us to look at. Okay, I might be wrong because it. I don't know what exactly the wind crest has to do with what it said, but like, I don't know. That all I can really imagine is that it, because they're shaped kind of similar. I looked at it and I was like, yeah, that does look pretty similar. And I was just looking at it in the recording, and it's like, okay, we got to remember to uh, wait. This is the area. It's it's kind of fun to watch you edit the videos because you'll be sitting there, and all of a sudden you'll just start laughing and you'll go, "You idiot." Cause, Cause it's like, a, when I'm editing it, it's, it's almost like I'm one of the viewers. <laughs> Cause it's like, I have to look at over all the footage before it goes out onto YouTube. So it's like, yeah, I'm watching. Also make sure to like, keep an eye out for any locked doors on the way there. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Sorry. Dingus. But yeah, none of the doors here are locked. I know that the room that I'm just about to pass has like two herbs in it. Oh yeah, yeah. And there might be something on the balcony because we haven't finished there yet. Yeah. But I'm not. More herb on the balcony. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. All right. Um. I was scratching also, my ear. Hang on. Last. Speaking of staying up all night. <laughs> last night, it was three, two or three in the morning, and I took some melatonin. You took the, like the stronger stuff because melatonin doesn't quite do it for you. For some fucking reason, it doesn't. And like. We, we took our, our sleep aids. Oh, I could have gotten there faster. Oh, well. We, we took our sleep aids, and we were laying there, and you sat down, and you started talking about, like, we, we just started talking about life and, like, all our experiences, well, uh, how we came to 
uh, get into our relationship back in high school and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, and we were talking, we were talking about like all this different kind of stuff and it was, it was very romantic. It was very like lovey dovey and, uh, it was definitely kind of like, you know, relationship goals, like that kind of stuff. But at the same time, I was fucking tired. <laughs> You could have told me to just be quiet or something. No, because that it wasn't because when we stopped, it was seven in the morning. Yeah. But like, it wasn't that I wanted to stop. It's that I like, I got so engrossed in talking to you. Like I got so engrossed in the uh, in the conversation, and in what we were just saying to each other, and just just being with you. That I completely, like, lost track of time. I completely, like, forgot what was happening. And I was just like... Ah! Oh, the doorknob is finally broken? Damn it. Okay, then. Huh? Ooh, came all the way back here for nothing. Well, I did. Because it's like, I didn't know the doorknob was broken. And oh, I was you were like, we could just use it one more time? Yeah, just maybe, like, one more time, but no. Oh, well. Uh, but, like... It was definitely like it was a, it was wonderful to just be able to sit and talk with you about all this stuff. We we joked and laughed about like uh, how we came to be in a relationship. We talked about your mom being a bitch. My mom being a bitch. And um, maybe probably sexist. <laughs> and we talked about stuff that we shouldn't repeat on the channel because it was very uh, uh, PG thirteen. Nah, that, that's no. What was, uh, was rated R? Dang it! There we go. <laughs> Um, we talked about my mom probably being sexist. If, most if most mom, definitely sexist. I gotta be honest, if my mom ever sees this shit, I'm not sorry. You're a crappy mother and a horrible person. And the thing is, is when I was talking about it, I, I talked about how, um, at the, at, looking back on it, I was like afraid to tell her things. And I literally just, to the open internet, just told my mom she's a shitty mother. <laughs> Which, if she could... Indirectly told her. <laughs> indirectly, but, like, th my feelings are known now. The moment you can say it is, like, that moment when you've definitely gotten past it. Oh, yeah, because the worst part is, is I, w like, I was in the position where I just I justified the way she acted and all that kind of stuff. But, like, either way, it was very romantic. It was very, like, relationship goals. Like, I've seen people sit and talk about their relationships and, like, I just want to be able to sit with the person I love and just talk with them all night long about any little thing and it's like yeah that's very wonderful it was seven in the morning and i was tired as fuck <laughs> <laughs> like i was i was fucking exhausted like oh there's a door right here yeah uh, i i was i figured that like that would probably be the fastest way to get to it okay yeah i i was exhausted and we fell asleep holding each other yeah it's very lovey-dovey. Okay, here's the door that I was talking about. Oh, yeah. It, it is the same shape. Hang on. I have it. Uh, used. Damn it! What? You came all this way for nothing. What do you mean? Because it doesn't, like, pop out or nothing, does it? There's an icon depicting wind. Damn it! I can't, that, it all came to... Well, can we open that door right there? Mm, no, because it's, it's... If I go to it, it's just going to say that it's locked and... Doesn't oh, give me okay. like a specific key. Then... We have to put the thing in there. Mm -hmm. Damn it! Mm -hmm. I was kind of banking on that. <laughs> oh well, we can find other locked doors. Oh god, do you want to pause the episode while we look for locked doors? Uh, that or I can tell you about the time I almost got attacked by a chupacabra. Okay, man, go ahead. <laughs> Filler, you know, we we gotta fill out these episodes. Uh, I used to live in just like a a little farm. Um. Just this little, this little, not really a farm, really, but, like, my neighborhood was set fairly far outside of town, and it was all, like, a bunch of Hispanic folks. I, I, think, I think we were the only white family on that street. Um, and we had, like, goats and chickens and stuff. And there was just this brief time period where, like, uh, my Mima talked about how she found, like, a bunch of chickens ripped up in the chicken coop. And she thought that, like, one of our dogs had done it or, like, uh, a coyote had done it or something like that. We found. She never showed us, but she told, like, I, I heard her talking with mom. I was like, yeah, and one of the goats looked like its head had nearly been ripped off. Um, and I remember, like, hearing the neighbors talking about how, like, some of their animals went missing, too. And knowing that there was an animal out there attacking. Looking back on it, this is the part that's weird to me. Knowing that there was an animal out there that was vicious enough to attack and tear apart our farm animals, they still made me go take out the trash in the middle of the night. Yeah, they were they were 
saw you as the disposable child. Yeah, and like, um, and the thing is, I was eight, so there's a good chance I'm like misremembering this. <laughs> Because you know how when you're, like, a little kid and you just, like, you misremember stuff all the time. I might be misremembering this, but also I love the... I, I kind of like the idea that this is how it actually happened. <laughs> um, but, like, I went I went to, like, take out the trash and I was I was afraid of the dark. Because I was, like, eight you, years old. You baby. I was, I was a little kid. I was, like, eight years old and I was afraid of the dark. And so they gave me, like, this little flashlight to, uh, to like, shine the light on the way, on the way there. So I just... <laughs> I like it was just you know that scene in um in SpongeBob where like they're doing the night shift and SpongeBob has to like take the trash and he, like just screams and runs to the trash can like Is that what throws you did? it. In. That's what I did the first couple of times and uh, my parents got tired of like the running and all that and me coming in like panting and like stomping up the porch so they told me like next time you do it if you run you're gonna be in a lot of trouble so like they I, really I, were just hoping that thing got your ass huh. <laughs> So, like, I, I took the, uh, I don't even remember if it was my mom or, like, one of my relatives. I don't, no one in the family liked me except uh, Samantha. They were like, just inside plotting. It's like, man, he's he's running so oh, fast. This it's thing not going like, to be able to get him. This thing is old and sickly. We were... <laughs> 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 but, like, so I, 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 like, took it out there. I had the flashlight, and I was, I was, I was scared shitless. I was this eight-year-old in the middle of, like, in the middle. Of, and I was, like, whipping around and shining the flashlight all over the place. And I threw the... Like an episode of fucking Scooby-Doo or something. <laughs> and we had, like, this this great big open yard off to the side where there was, like, a trailer where, like, one of my aunts lived and stuff like that. And there were some bushes in, like, the corn, like, these thick bushes that we used to play in as kids. Uh -huh. And I, I threw the trash in there, and I was about to run back, and I was like, I can't run back. And I heard something, like, rustling in the bushes. <laughs> and I kind of just got paralyzed because I was terrified, and I was shining the light on it. And there was... We need the yellow gemstone. I don't think the wind crest would work here. Shoosh, I can try it. <laughs> I can try it. With a shot. And Damn it. <laughs> just, I, I shined it on there and just, there were like these glowing eyes looking back at me. And like, it was, it, it could have just been like a dog or something like that. And you don't know it, that. That's, that's the thing. It started like coming out of the bushes towards me. <laughs> And did you, it, did you default back to your SpongeBob run? <laughs> <laughs> no, cause I, I was terrified. And like that thing didn't look like a dog. It, it did not look like a dog that I had ever seen it. it was it possible so that weird. it was like a, a mountain cat? No, 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 no. It was, it was about the size of a dog. Cause we had a, a chocolate Labrador. Uh huh. And her... there's something in that room, and that's the typewriter room. Huh? Maybe we missed something. Probably. Hang on. Uh, but like, we had and her our chocolate labs by the name. Her name was Duchess. Yes. After Dutch chocolate. Mm hmm. She was the best, most sweetest dog ever. Uh, she might be dead by now. It's gonna turn out that there's like a key item in this room. Something we met. Special instructions on the for the. Oh, I think this is just telling us to burn the corpses. We have new information regarding those beings. Uh, they may appear to be dead, but in fact are able to come back to life. However, there are ways to prevent them from becoming active again. Currently, there are two known methods uh, to cease their resurrection. Incineration or destruction of the head. Ah, well, that's too late. We found that if out. If further methods are discovered, you will be notified immediately. Meanwhile, to those of you who still have the will to live, oil has been placed on the first floor of the mansion. Take as much as you need. You will need something to light it with, uh, which you'll need to find by yourself. Oh yeah, I also found out, apparently, I was I was kind of wrong, Chris starts the game with the lighter, and he has a better chance of getting headshots than Jill. Okay. And he doesn't get a grenade launcher, he gets a magnum. Yeah. Uh, like I was saying, it, it, it was about the size of a dog, had no fur, um, it, it had like a, a great big mouth, um, and of, of course, there is a chance that like, Maybe I'm misremembering your this because I was like a scared child. But your like, mom was just being cruel and like rigged a weird <laughs> machine to come out of the bushes. Because because <laughs> you know how when you you sometimes remember stuff and like even without realizing you start adding on details. But I just remember so vividly looking at that thing and just being like, "This is not a dog. This is not a dog. This is not a dog. This is not a dog." Just losing my mind. And then you calm down. You realize, oh wait, it is a dog. <laughs> it had like its eyes looked yellow, which might have just been like the light reflecting back, but. It had like just oh, that's why this room is yellow eyes and like oh, don't we have the shield key? That's not a door. That's not a door. Okay. I, I was running by it hoping it was a door. <laughs> uh, I'm just checking all the rooms that are red or that we right. haven't opened yet. 
But, like, I was sitting there looking at it, pissing my pants in, like, just terror. And it was just staring back at me. It, it, it was, it almost, I, this is going to sound weird. It might have just been the lighting. It almost looked scaly. Like it could have just been scabbed all over. It could have been because eventually, like I got older and I found out, like uh, a lot of people think that like a chupacabra was just like a coyote with scabies. Yeah. Um, which actually, there was a dog in my neighborhood who had scabies. You know Gizmo? Yeah. Yeah, he had scabies. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying something and it didn't work out. But like, uh, and I just kind of stared at it and it stared at me, and I, oh, I, long I door shit. I completely forgot about my parents like threat and I booked it back to the house and they asked me uh, they they didn't ask me what was wrong uh, but I just told them that I ran because there was like a, a scary looking dog out there and the, your mom instantly heard like run <laughs> <laughs> I, I just I just told them that I had run because there was like a, a scary looking dog and I was afraid that it was gonna bite me um, and looking back on it it's a good we lived out we're in, this is Texas. Texas. There's a good chance it was just a coyote and like my terrified child mind just kind of like filled it in. But like I was scared shitless. And then the next day I remember like going, I remember being outside and I looked in our, we had a, a, a like a gravel uh, parking uh, driveway uh -huh. and there was just like claw marks on the driveway. Like, on the, on the same path that I had taken, like, you could still see some of my footprints in the gravel, and the claw marks were, like, right behind the footprints. Mm -hmm. Meaning that that thing... Went through the gravel. Maybe also chased me. Which, like... Oh, wait. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, because I, I don't even remember if I, I... I was so focused on getting into that house. Which you did. Good job. I, I did. And, like, looking back on it, it could have just been, like, a coyote that had, like, scabies or something like that. Uh, it could have been anything. But, like, I was fucking terrified. <laughs> like, I was, I was, I, I almost pissed my pants. That was a good story. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I was waiting for you to finish because we got to end the episode. We have to end? Really? We did nothing. Oh, my God. We did nothing. Okay, next episode, we're not going to do anything until we make progress. All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I... Jesus, HF Christ, we did nothing. Okay. It's okay. Good. I'm, I don't even feel like you're not true. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Do all the stuff. Good night.